Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're excited for today's general energy reading. As always, I've already cleansed with my Kamai Healing Spray and I've already pre-shoveled my cards to save time. So let's go ahead and tap in. Let's see what is going on with the collective today. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. First card out that went flying was the death card. So someone is... Um, putting to death a former chapter of their life. Oh, we actually have seven cards. Um, next card that came out was the Queen of Cups. I think this person realized that they weren't getting the love that they feel they truly deserve in a relationship. Um, so they're focusing their love now on themselves. With the King of Wands here, I think this person was with someone who was very, very attractive that they were also attracted to, but this King of Wands was also very selfish and, you know, may have been fooling around um, behind this person's back. With the Seven of Cups here, this King of Wands may also have had a lot of other options. With the Nine of Wands in reverse, I think this Queen of Cups may have known that um, this King of Wands was fooling around on them behind their back, but they were too afraid to, you know, confront this person and say how they feel and build up good strict boundaries with them. Then we have the Hanged Man. So, you know, they felt stuck in this relationship because they loved this King of Wands so much, um, but they were afraid of being alone. But they know now that they deserve better than to be with someone who constantly cheats on them. So with the Page of Cups here, this person is learning what they deserve in love. They know that they're never going to be loved in the way that they deserve by this King of Wands. So they're ready to forgive themselves for their mistakes, forgive this King of Wands for their real mistakes in this relationship, but they're also ready to close this chapter and move on to a new person who is going to treat them the way they deserve. With the Fool card here, this person, unlike their King of Wands, doesn't have a lot of options lined up, but they know that being alone is better than being in a relationship with someone who isn't loving them the way they deserve to be loved. With the Five of Wands, they know that this may cause a lot of conflict, um, not only with the King of Wands, but maybe mutual friends, as well as family members who know that these people have been together for a very long time. With the Knight of Pentacles, no matter who comes next for them, they know that even a small offer of love is going to be better than what this King of Wands can give them or bring to the table. Um, as long as this new knight comes forward with truth and honesty and with only them in mind, um, anyone else is going to be better. better. With the Ten of Cups here, this person wants a true and everlasting love. With the Ace of Swords, they want a new love that's going to be based on truth and honesty. And with someone who is not going to cheat on them or make them deal with um, other third parties. With the Eight of Cups, um, this person is ready to let this past relationship go. With the High Priestess under that, this person is leaning on their own intuition and feeling more balanced in their own judgment making and what their gut is telling them is going to be the best decision for them. With the Four of Cups, they're already bored in this relationship anyway. They're not being loved the way that they deserve and it's time for them to take a new opportunity for the universe to create the life that they will love and deserve. With the Queen of Wands, this person is able to easily manifest the perfect dream life that they've been searching for. They are also very attractive in their own right, and they have so many onlookers and um, secret admirers that would love to love them the way they deserve more than this King of Wands was loving them. With the Ace of Pentacles, they do have a new beginning, a new opportunity for them. With the Nine of Cups, they can have these wishes fulfilled if they truly want them. With the Moon card here, you know, this King of Wands, all of their secrets are already out in the open. So this King of Wands may be blindsided. With the Eight of Wands here, they may be in shock of this breakup because this person 
you know, maybe they even had an open relationship. I don't know exactly how this dynamic is, but this King of Wands is definitely going to be blindsided when this Queen Queen of Cups decides to finally stand up for themselves and break off this arrangement. With a judgment card here, I think the Queen of Cups is already awoken up about what this connection is and breaking up with this King of Wands is going to bring judgment upon them. Then with the Four of Swords, they're going to finally be able to rest and get over this and finally get the sleep that they've been missing. Um, with the King of Swords, they're going to be able to stand in their power, set some good boundaries, and really know and be able to say what they want and what they deserve. With the Queen of Pentacles, they are ready to be someone's wife. They're not ready to stand for this wishy-washy relationship anymore with the six of pentacles they want someone who's going to invest in them and have equal give and take in the relationship because with the sun here they want to be happy and with the four of wands they want to be married to someone who is going to be stable and have their two of cups someone who's going to love them and only want to love them and with the five of pentacles not feel left out in the cold anymore by this king of wands they want their emperor so they're ready to build up their strength and they're ready to go into the unknown. And, you know, they are going to get this brand new beginning in love with someone else. So absolutely love these vibes. These are great. Um, if this is you, definitely thumbs up the video to claim it. Know your worth and know that you deserve someone better than someone who is cheating on you or even if you are in an open relationship and you know you know you're both allowed to date other people at the same time even if that is the case you still need to be honest and upfront with each other about what you are doing because the moment you continue to still lie to each other and one partner is being manipulative and going through roundabout ways to hide things from you, your relationship is no longer stable. And even in an open relationship, that those are easy boundaries that should not be crossed. So I'm being called to my work here light Oracle deck. So I'm just going to pull a card or two to see what do your spirit guides want you to be focused and working on as you know you approach this breakup um, with this person to allow you to welcome a new love into your life? All right, so it looks like we got three cards. First off, we have Keepers of the Earth. You are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand beside you. So your ancestors, your grandparents, great grandparents, um, anyone who has passed on, they are standing beside you right now as you are moving through this big life-changing decision. Um, they are supporting you in getting what you want and what you deserve. Next, we have trust your path. If you knew you would be supported, what would you do? Definitely hands in hand with that last card. You know, what would you do? Um, if you knew you're going to be supported, your ancestors are already supporting you. So it is time for you to truly trust the path that you are on and keep moving forward with that death card as the first card out of the gate, you know, keep moving forward. It is time to close out this chapter. You deserve better than the, what this old relationship was serving you. And lastly, we have in Rama, where are you being called to journey to? So this is about you tapping into your own spirituality, tapping into what you want and what you deserve in life and keep moving forward along your soul's true path to lead you to true happiness and true happy ever after. So I want you guys to have everything that you want in life. Don't let other people who don't love you in the way that you deserve hold you back or prevent you from going after and making your true dreams come true. You do have the power to create the perfect life that you want to live. So don't let anyone else manipulate you into staying into bad relationships or do anything otherwise to hold you back from creating the life that you want. 
So that is it for today's reading. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If anything resonated, please do thumbs up the video. That is the best way to energetically donate to our channel. And it also gets our videos out to more and more viewers. If you are brand new and anything resonated, I do hope you decide to subscribe today. And if you are a subscriber, don't forget to also hit the bell button so that you get notified of when I upload a new video. So that is it. Thank you guys as always so, so much for watching and I'll see you in a later one. Bye guys.